no, 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 no. I'm starting to believe that a lot of y'all are jealous of Joe Netta. Some of y'all can't get a man, not with your degrees, not with your money. Can't get your personality messed up. Joe Netta got a whole man and happy. And y'all be hate, y'all be hate watching. And guess what? I'm going to make you feel a little better. Because we definitely going to pack up Joe Netta every chance that we get. Okay. Okay. Y'all wanted an update. Y'all wanted a story time. I'm going to give y'all a story time from my point of view. Okay. So before we booked the cruise, we did not know that Charles Netta was going on this cruise. We had no idea about the Charles Netta honeymoon or whatever we had no idea so while we were all boarding i guess this is where she got the oh they were waiting for us to come on narrative from because as we were boarding like everybody was just talking having a good time just like mingling we all at the same time just happened to look down and see that charles and Ed was right there so my girlfriend was like is that so when she said that everybody just looked and at that time, I'm like, oh, like, let me just record them. So that's what I did. So when she spotted me, she was already looking around, like, kind of, I don't know if she was nervous or what, but um, she looked up and saw I was recording. She pointed at Charles and was like, look, she waved, whatever, whatever. That was it. They were just like, oh my God, I can't believe we're on a cruise with Netta. We probably talked about it for just that moment. By the time they scanned our passports and we went on the ship, nobody was, nobody was really talking about it anymore. So, um, I'm trying to think about the next time we saw them. Nobody really was saying anything. I'm trying to think about what she was saying on the live. Because I was, I am in the group, like the Carnival Cruise group. And I did see the pictures that were posted were the only pictures that are inside the group. So, if it was people outside the group, mind you, it's thousands of, it was like a thousand or something people in the group. But only those seven pictures were posted in the group. So, those are the ones that I posted. And I've just blocked the people's face out because... You know, they might not have wanted to go viral. I knew the video was going to go up, whatever. So, um, let me think. Give me a moment. Let me get myself together. Because I'm trying to think about what she said on the live. And then hint on what she said on the live. Okay. So, she also said something about a whole bunch of people trying to take pictures with her. So, when we first got on the cruise, I think that's when everybody was just kind of shocked that Charles and Ed was on there. Not in like a... Maybe, I guess you would say, in like a fan-ish type of way. But... It was just like, oh my God, Charles and Netta, like, I don't know, like, say you, I don't know, it's like, say you ran into, like, a high school friend, you're like, oh my God, you're here, you take a quick picture, and then that's it, like, not, no other time did me or my girlfriend think about Charles and Netta, like, at all the whole time, other than, um, when we saw them on the deck, when it was, like, the little line dance party, we saw them, so now, the times that I recorded is the only times that i seen them, and, I think she was telling the truth. She wasn't lying about people wanting to take pictures with them. But I just think she over-exaggerated the truth. So, people were taking pictures with them. But I don't think it was like thousands of people. I don't think anybody knew she was going to be on the cruise. I don't think anybody waited on her to come to the cruise. I did not see them once we hit ports to do the excursions at all. I only saw them um, to take an initial picture. We did take a picture with them they were walking through the dining hall and people were like oh they go charge the netta but not not in like oh let's run up to them no it was literally just like oh they go charge the netta again and she would look she would wave that was it and then everybody would get back to doing what they was doing it was never in a way that it was just like oh my god charge the netta so um and then a lot of people were also saying like oh let's let them enjoy their honeymoon like we're all on here on vacation so nobody was trying to like Fan, fan be fanned out about them or nothing so um we saw them then I didn't see them I didn't see them anymore like I didn't see them a lot at all so I wasn't even sure they were like outside their cabins or anything um I did hear I think she was on like the sixth floor and we were on the tenth, so that could have been a thing too um, I didn't see them at any nightlife clubs or anything. The only time I saw them was just, like, during the day. Like, when everybody was on the deck, like, doing deck stuff. I didn't see them at any com comedy shows. I didn't see them at just, like, any shows that were going on. I didn't see them. We did, like, uh, it was a whole bunch of people at Bingo. I did not see them at Bingo. I did not see them when we were in that South Bahamas. I just did not see them. They weren't, like, 
just out where everybody could see them. The only time people saw them, maybe if we were all waiting in the elevator, but that's it. So people did want to take pictures with them, but thousands of pictures, no, I don't think that was a thing. Um, because a lot of people didn't see them. I think that's what we were kind of saying in the group, like, oh, and a lot of people didn't even know Charles and Netta was on there. Um, like, nobody shouted them out saying, oh, Charles and Netta is here, like, from the Carnival crew, nothing. Like, it was literally, like, the way I would explain it is, you see, you, you seeing somebody you haven't seen in a very long time. You finally see them, and you're like, oh, my God, hey, nice to see you, nice to meet you, and then that's it. You don't think about it no more. And that's just from my point of view. Um, in the little group that we're in on Carnival on Facebook, that's pretty much all everybody's saying. Just like, oh, it was nice to get a picture with them. But anything other than that, no. It, I, I mean, that's it. That's the only storyline I have. It just wasn't much. It, it wasn't much to it. Yes, please. I follow Jonetta. I only watch your channel because you drag him. <laughs> And we gonna keep on dragging Joe Dead. Y'all see that thing? The, the whole mouthpiece fell out. Joe Dead, a whole mouth fell out over there on them people, folks. Thank you, he's a celebrity, huh? Thank you, people don't want to, uh, uh, people showing up for you, huh, Joe Dead? You ain't no celebrity. We, you know what time it is. Let's get to it. Please hit the like. Go on, Jonetta. Show them what you working with. Jonetta, tuck, seal, tuck better than T.S. Madison, I must add. All the skin is hanging over, so, you know, he, he got the faha on underneath it, if you can really check it out and look at it, okay? He got elephant thighs. He got thighs like uh, Wendy Williams got legs, okay? Let's be clear about that. Ain't nothing holding up your whole body falling apart, okay? You look like an Ozempic patient is what you look like. Gastric bypass, drink your liquor, do everything, high blood pressure. It look like you having withdrawals the way you moving. Y'all see how Mary J. Blige was moving like a crackhead and how Lil' Kim was moving like a crackhead too. Well, this Jonetta version of that with your iconic ass. Oh, like your name gonna be in lights and stars in the pits of hell you look like you came from. Look just like Mr. Sim from Tales of the Crypt. Shout out to y'all, everybody in here who know Tales of the Crypt. We gonna make a move out of these motherfuckers. Uh -huh. oh, look at you. Look like Mr. Sims, the gay version. Shannon Sharp. It's, listen, at the end of the day, put a one in the chat for Joe Netta. Put a two in the chat for Shannon Sharp. One of them got to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my Michelle. Oh, that's my Michelle. That's my Michelle. Oh. Uh -huh. We ain't believe you. We ain't. We believed when Hollywood came out and said you was about to. Boy, okay. Joe Netta is the flamboyant version of Shannon Sharp, Bill Cosby, all that sugar and stuff in his face. Lord have mercy. Joe Netta got a whole man dancing like this, looking like this, thighs and shit look like Blobber, ditto the Pokemon and shit. Whole body fucked up, all everything fucked up, dentures fucked up. Lied to us and wanted us to believe you had veneers. You ain't got no motherfucking veneers because if you did, that man that put them in your mouth, he would have had your shit swollen in her because he went to jail for installing fake veneers. Somebody's mouth exploded. Your mouth ain't exploded because he ain't did them to pull all of them teeth about your mouth and put some dentures down. I believe Charles got dentures too at this point in time. You niggas don't even brush your motherfucking teeth. How you don't brush your teeth? Don't get your cavities checked, cavity fills to veneers all over. Child, please. They would have did a better job down there in Tijuana. Uh-huh. Joe Netta said uh, he is there to take y'all, man. Okay, Joe Netta is working with it. And y'all some hating ass bitches if y'all don't see what's going on. Uh, look, look, look at that. The Faha. Look at it. Look at the Faha falling apart. Whole body falling apart. Look at, oh, the Faha. The Faha. That, but that's who y'all choose. Y'all wonder why Jonetta got a man and y'all single, huh? Uh-huh. With that fake gotcha, that's definitely not no uh, uh, Versace. And if it is, I don't want no more Versace. Oh, my goodness. Look at the keyloids. Yes, indeed. I'm in my studio to blow this up now. Let's see what it do. 
Let's see that key, Lord, and let's blow it up. Lord, have mercy. Do y'all see that big? Oh, my goodness. That has to be HPV. What other excuse is that? What the heck is that? That has to be HPV, bro. I don't care what nobody tell me, bro. You don't get no bumps. Like, look, look at this, man. That has to be HPV. And then it looked like it got a gray hair stuck in there. Look at it. Look at it, y'all. Like it's Thanksgiving coming up. Gobble, gobble. But when you look at them photos, when he beat and stuff, you don't see all that skin. Your whole body look just like this, like it's falling apart. You ain't no icon because if you was, you wouldn't be at you. You would be like Star Jones to get all that skin chopped up off your goddamn body, your neck, and everything like that with them doo doo brown dreads you got on. Ladies, if you still wearing uh, puka shells and seashells and shit in your head, I don't fuck with you. Don't talk to me. Uh uh, don't talk to me. I don't trust nobody that's still wearing seashells in their head after talking about Jonetta. You're mad because your man won't Jonetta on. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. How did y'all ever think that this was actually a black woman? That's no hate speech. Jonetta then went live and Jonetta specifically said uh, that he is a man. Okay. And, and some of y'all men thought that this was a woman. Cause this be the one that they want to be with. This be the type right here. Look at it. It's working it all in the pool. It's crazy as heck. Look at me get my screenshots. Look at this. Look at this. Watch this. Oh, look. Elephant skin. Faha. Faha Timu booty pad. Look at all of that. That's the bathing suit right there. So you want me to believe. You want me to believe that this is what? That's the Faha. Put a one in the chat if you see the Faha. We didn't see the dentures. We didn't see the faha. You get dressed up. You get dressed up just to go live and unalive a black man by diabetic coma with all that goddamn sugar and shit that you got and wonder why ain't nobody finna buy no seasoning from you. You got a seasoning called kicking chicken and that shit sound like it belong on the top of barbecue potato chips. All that sugar and sweet honey mustard, barbecue sauce. Who gonna put some hot sauce on that? Again, can I see them ones for the faha? Can I see them ones for the faha? Put a two in the chat of this ass. Look at all the ass, the ass, the ass. Oh. Uh huh. Jonetta, so you had a better chance to be at a ditty party when you was thick. Now your body falling apart with a big black faha on. I get your goddamn ass look like a big black bear. So now we see the booty pad. Uh huh. All of this is a number to faha. Look like a diaper, a shit ass diaper. And I'm talking about a shitty diaper like a woman uh, that gave birth to a crack baby shitty diaper, you know. Baby's so ugly, don't nobody want to touch it and the diaper be shitty. That's what type of shitty diaper this Faha look like. Uh-huh. One of the ones, you know, somebody, I bet Joe Netta when he, oh, ain't my baby pretty? Go touch, uh-uh, I don't want to touch your baby. Mm-mm, your baby too ugly for me to touch. With a diaper full full of shit just like Joe Netta. Joe Netta, we the couch with this motherfucking faha oh. You ain't got no ass. How your ass went from a spoiled neck bone to all of this overnight in one section with Dr. Miami. And even Rowley had to get four operations and she still looked like a blob fish. Just like your motherfucking face. Somebody go get a Z-Pack and let's lasso his ass up out of here. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Lasso your ass up out of here. What's up, Rent? Uh uh. Oh. Uh oh. Elephant skin. Oh, now look at the back, but look at the, the side boot busting through the back. <laughs> the side boot busting through the back, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. T fell out. Booty pad fell out. Your whole gimmick is up. Your whole gimmick is up, sweetheart. Season is ain't selling. Look at me get my screenshots. Y'all know them gonna be on thumbnails later. Them same pictures I'm taking. That's the thumbnail. 
Look at me get my thumbnail pictures. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Look, look at all of that. What's oh, all of that? That's the shit. when he be putting all this shit up with the fire. That's the titty right there on the side. All oh, the skin. And then he just hang it over there. Just like it's dropping. Put on his best faha. Put on his best faha. Uh-uh. Put on his best faha. Mm -mm. And he need to fix his service if you want people to look at you. We tired of your videos glitching and shit. You put that on? Oh no, we've been at um finish on yeah. Hello. I get my we'll go take a shower when I first. Mm. Right. What? Let me see how many y'all looking at okay, this ugly person. And so y'all know he think he's a celebrity. He done went on the Bahamas cruise ship and said and was under the impression that all of them black people booked the Bahamas trip to be with him and that it was his moment, okay? This how you know a crack, baby, when you see one. No matter where they go, somebody look at them and smile at them and wave at them. They think it's their mama because their mama ain't nobody real and don't want nothing to do with them, okay? Crack baby, crack baby syndrome. He didn't book the trip to the Bahamas thinking all these black people was there for him and wanted to see him like he iconic. Oh, and the people was picking at you. They got a picture of you with your dentures and fell out your goddamn mouth and we okay, gagging so and we hollering at you. Oh, no. And she was pretty much saying that it was several people waiting to take pictures with her once her and Charles made it on the cruise. Her exact number was a thousand. Well, this young lady that was on the same exact cruise said Miss Netta was kind of exaggerating a little bit, y'all. Mm. So listen to this clip. Let me know what y'all think and put your thoughts in the comments. That Charles and Netta was going on this cruise. We had no idea about the Charles and Netta honeymoon or whatever. We had no idea. So... While we were all boarding, I guess this is where she got the, oh, they were waiting for us to come on narrative from. Because as we were boarding, like, everybody was just talking, having a good time, just, like, mingling. We all, at the same time, just happened to look down and see that Charles and Ed was right there. <laughs> so my grandma was like, is that? So when she said that, everybody just looked. And at that time, I'm like, oh, like, let me just record them. So that's what I did. So... When she spotted me, she was already looking around, like, kind of. I don't know if she was nervous or what, but um, she looked up and saw I was, I was recording. She pointed at Charles and was like, look, she waved, whatever, whatever. That was it. It was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're on a cruise with Netta. We probably talked about it for just that moment. By the mm. time they scanned our passports and we went on the ship, nobody was, nobody was really talking about it anymore. Oh. Okay. So Not the icons being forgotten about. You supposed to be the Beyonce of this here internet. Beyonce of the Chinese man app called TikTok. And ain't nobody checking for you. You know, that's kind of like Christian Rock. Millions and millions of followers and subscribers and fans. But she po posts that she going to a football game and playing it. Don't nobody show up for you. This is the internet. We going to gag at you. You need to continue to go live so we can pick at them bumps. You can make your money. We going to make our money. Ain't, ain't shit iconic about you but them bumps. If them bumps disappear, we don't care. We abs we don't care. We like your confidence and like the fact that you go live and still smile knowing your face so ugly. Oh. That's the only thing it is. And once the people have seen your face picked and poked at it, they, they better than me. Because if I was on that Bahamas cruise ship, bitch, I would have had a close-up. I would have I would have convinced you to let me pop once so I can get three, four million views in the name and the title. Miss Netta let did not pop one of them goddamn bumps and it's going to come back two days later because you got to get the seed out. You know, them deep-ass, big-ass seeds in them bumps. You got to you know, step on and get some plies and pull them goddamn seeds out. And came way to California into a black woman business, a 64-year-old black woman talking about that the lady was gonna get them seeds out. I seen a whole machine operation look like a goddamn dinner two pick pick in the bumps trying to get that seed out. And she just couldn't get the seed out. 
You need to go to Dr. Pimple Pop or somebody certified to do uh, some real goddamn surgery on your face. Because just busting it and squeezing it, it ain't going to come out. I done told you, bitch, you look, you you the fourth Sanderson sister with them goddamn bumps on your face. Oh, ain't no ain't no needs for you lasso and char spirit out of sucking it up out of there. So you can look young and get you some energy wearing Pikachu Pokemon, motherfucking Tupac Biggie, Dr. Pepper t-shirts, a Lilo and Stitch, Bob the Builder. Looking like Fire Marshal Bill with that fire on that cooked some goddamn food. That's what you commit crimes before our eyes. Them bumps should be a crime, so it don't even matter. They're gonna stay famous and ain't no help for them. You're gonna have to dig your whole face off, kind of like how they did them. You remember, um, back what was it about three, four years ago? There was a news report down in Miami. They get high for that pink cocaine and bath salt. Somebody was eating somebody's face off. That's the only way to fix that, Joe Nettum. Your ass, look how you look, bitch. Somebody puss and bump and do it properly. Get them bumps up out your face. Your ass gonna look like Freddy Cougar. Oh. Uh-huh, burnt on the inside and out. Then the chemical pill burn you, drug you, and everything. Not you bragging, talking about you got a chemical pill and your face busted up and bust out. And your face gonna be perfect after that. And your skin so tight and what the people gonna talk about. I was kind of nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, okay, that's a black woman. She got a degree, her education. She, she done did Amber Rose face. Shit, Jonetta face peeled. That shit looked the same. Okay, that shit looked peeled, peeled and was white like an orange. That's the only thing that happened. Oh. You slowed the content down thinking that you couldn't go live because you had a chemical peel. When, he, when, when you look at the before and after, there's no fucking difference. And I ain't never seen that in my life. First got on the cruise. I think that's when everybody was just kind of shocked that Charles and Edda was on there. Not in like a... Maybe I guess you would say in like a fan-ish type of way, but... It was just like, oh my God, Charles and Edda. Like, I don't know. Like, say you, I don't know. It's like, say you ran into like a high school friend. You're like, oh my God, you're here. You take a quick picture, and then that's it. Like, these are a few of the pictures that Ms. Nunn and Charles took while they was on their cruise. Mm. I'm sorry that a few In these cheap ass clothes. Got a Nike shirt on with two check marks next to each other, bitch. Faces are blurred out, you guys, but that's just the way they were posted. Check it out and let me know what y'all think. Not, no other time did me or my girlfriend think about Charles and Edda, like at all the whole time. <laughs> other than, um, With their iconic ass. We saw them on the deck when it was like the little line dance party. We saw them. So now, the times that I recorded is the only times that I've seen them. Oh, and no. I think she was telling the truth. She wasn't lying about people wanting to take pictures with them, but I just think she over-exaggerated the truth. On a cruise ship, on a carnival, y'all will see it all over the world in a minute because we done took a million pictures. When I, say, <laughs> a mil I, say a million, I was going to say a thousand. <laughs> when I say a thousand pictures, literally over a thousand Oh, pictures. my goodness. So <laughs> people were taking pictures with them but i don't think it was like thousands of people i don't think anybody knew she was going to be on the cruise i don't think anybody waited on her to come to the cruise mm. i did not see not them once we hit ports to do the excursions at all mm. i only saw them um to take an initial picture we did take a picture let them. me would have been over the ship we would have went viral joe netta don't like people getting the content that unless it's he could control it listen I, I would have been on that ship. One of us had to go. And if we was in the middle of the ocean, somebody was going to get thrown off. Because I need, I need a picture of you and Charles. I need a picture of you like Titanic. I would have gashed up, talked to you like Big Sex, and them niggas, them niggas in Atlanta to get you to go over there so they can go viral, pick it at the box. I would have did this. I would have like, oh, yeah, Joe, you go go right here and get on the edge and get the picture and look off the back and then. And, shit. Ain't nobody did all that. Even the people that come and do your hair and makeup for free, they do it just to say that they didn't pick at your bumps, okay? You need a mortician. You need somebody that work at a funeral home that know how to do makeup in order to fix your goddamn face. Um, they were walking through the dining hall, and people were like, oh, they go charge Zanetta, but not, not in like, oh, let's run up <laughs> to them. No, it was literally just like, oh, they go charge Zanetta again, and she would look, she would wave, that was it. And then everybody would get back to doing what they was doing. It was never in a way that I was just like, oh, my God. Mm, not the icons. So nobody was trying to, like, fan, fan, be fanned out about them or nothing. So I didn't, <laughs> see, them, I didn't see them anymore. Like, I didn't see them a lot at all. So I wasn't even sure they were, like, outside their cabins or anything. Um, I did hear, I think she was on, like, the sixth floor. And... 
we were on the tent, so that could have been a thing too. Um, I didn't see them at any nightlife clubs or anything. The only time I saw them was just like during the day, like when everybody was on the deck, like doing deck stuff. I didn't see them at any com- comedy shows. I didn't see them mm. at just like any shows that were going on. I didn't see them. Because Jonetta's so pathetic. Charles got his own room. You see how Earth Day in the pool, Charles jump out the pool and go mow grass. Even though he mowed the grass three, four days ago, that say that means that you know he don't want to be around you. He's trying to figure out things and ways to occupy his time. He don't want to be around you. You done lied to him and said all them, and, and he's so slow. He done made believe all these people really came on a cruise ship and booked for them. He coming in there with that bubble gum machine jury on and shit. How you get a choke change and well, a chain this big on Funny Marco and want me to believe it's real. But then when you're going on a cruise, the chain size and triple. And y'all bitches broke. Y'all ain't got no goddamn money like that, okay? Rent cars and shit just to go and bust Jewies and stuff. Them people are sick of you. Ain't nobody looking for you. Y'all ain't famous. We y'all gonna learn? Y'all ain't famous at all. But I do know Charles don't want none of Jonetta. Mm-mm, he don't. He don't want him. Oh, no. Jonetta in the pool. His last trick, last stop. First, you got a TV show. You gonna be on TV because somebody emailing you and talks and negotiations, and you telling all of these people what you gonna do, your plans and ideas without executing, it, and don't know all your haters is putting all the bad energy on it. So don't shit ever work out for you. Oh, you can't no. keep your mouth closed. Somebody say, hey, Miss Nana, we want to book you, and, and as soon as they say that, you oh security and all of this other stuff, you done fucked the deal up. That's why you ain't got no shows. You need micromanagement. Speaking of micromanagement, you talking about Carlos got a reality show for you and you supposed to do another one and there's the con- the content of the reality show is already out there and I don't own it. Carlos own it. I don't know why he don't release it and make all the money to Monday and the clicks and the views off of it just like everybody else. That's what I would have been doing. Huh. I would have been got me a bag off of that. And then did C- Carlos, please release the wedding tapes and stuff. Please go ahead and release that so we can get an ultimate commentary on it, okay? Otherwise, this nigga ain't got no goddamn emotion or nothing. Just butt them bumps when you go live. You like to choke on, on something and Charles sat there and laughed and was live thinking, I guess if y'all marry, he go get an insurance policy. Your broke ass ain't got nothing. You won, you, you won YouTube TikTok check away from being broke, bitch. Your ass gonna end up like Miss Holly Frapper if you would have choked on that goddamn strawberry or if Charles would have pushed you off that ship. You did, like... Uh, it was a whole bunch of people at bingo. I did not see them at bingo. I did not see them when we were in that saw Bahamas. I just did not see them. They weren't like <laughs> just out where everybody could see them. The only time people saw them, <laughs> maybe if we were all waiting in the elevator. His but face looked like so Martin when he fought the boxer. But thousands of pictures, <laughs> no, I don't think that was a thing. Um, because a lot of people didn't see them. I think that's what we were kind of saying in the group. Like, oh, they was no, I didn't know Charles and that was on the air. Um, they was they ain't want nobody, like nobody to boy. Out saying, oh, Charles and Ed is here. Like, boy, I would have been killing them boys. I would have been killing them. Boy, I would, but I would have did it in the first. You know, I would have went for the con. Oh, Miss Netta, I you got. I would have educated him, Miss Netta. When you bust the bumps, it's a seed down there. You got to get rid of the seed. If you don't get rid of the seed, then it's gonna come back. So let me go ahead and demonstrate one time. Oh, can, can I put my camera up here? I I ain't, I ain't recording you. I just need the light. You know, go up there, get that goddamn video. You know, I, I'd have snuck and got it to some boy. I, I, it, the first nigga to get a video of busting one of them bumps off his nether face, gonna hit a jackpot. Every single time he had them bumps and shit bust off his face, he done told the person not to record it. Then you you missing the golden opportunity. Even the lady up there in Woodland Hills. Every time that she, she about to bust something and skip and fast forward and the bump be gone or whatever. Nigga, we need to see them bumps busting. Because that's the biggest niche. That shit pay more than the real estate market on, on, on YouTube. Dr. Pimple Popper popping bumps. And she, you know how many people look at that disgusting shit? I want me a, a, a video. Put a one in the chat if we need one of them videos. The way I would explain it. Where Jonetta get a bump bust open. You've seen somebody you haven't seen in a very long time. You finally see them. And you're like, oh my God, hey, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. And then I'm disappointed. You no more. And that's just from my point of view. Um, I am fucking disappointed. I would have showed my annual black woman and all the shit he done said about black women. Shit, I. <laughs> 
You you were supposed to blow up. You were supposed to check that nigga, see what he had to say, get that shit on camera. Boo. Now you been supposed to blow up. You ain't even what you gonna oh she pretty, she pretty, she 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 Joe jo Netta and stuff. She oh give an interview to gag and stuff, but no, we nigga, why you ain't check Joe Netta? Man, this girl boring. In the little group that we're in on Carnival on Facebook, that's pretty much all everybody's saying, just like, oh, it was nice to get a picture with them. <laughs> but anything other than that, no. It, I, I mean, that's it. That's the only storyline I had. It just wasn't much. It, it wasn't much to it. It's a picture. I'm going to post a picture up on my community wall of Joe Netta T falling out his mouth. Now, again, then he didn't came live, went in the kitchen and making Lily sausages. And what I mean by making Lily sausages this stank ass motherfucker sat there and let a sausage fall on the ground and go rinse it off and put it back over there after Lily licked on it on the fucking floor with all that dog hair and then ended the video. But I don't know. I'm still thinking since I had the illusion of getting the real BBL, I'm still having I'm still having dog thought of going and get an injection. So because it's just to fill it out and just keep it that that life on all that other stuff, baby. It's not for the matter. Mm mm. Look, look what he got on. Like he going to shake something in the bedroom. Ladies, y'all is single. Y'all are single and Jonetta got a man. Y'all hating for real. Y'all hating for real. Oh, no. Jonetta got a happy house with a man and y'all don't. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this. That's what he said. She bubble gum and all that stuff too, but I am... Just, just, listen, that yo, that shit look like bedroom candy or something that he got on. I'm start. You see the the scraps on the on the shoulder. You know, I'm, uh, it's kind of look like an apron if you really look at it with the scraps on the shoulder and how big and bulky it is. You know, Versace don't make no aprons, and we know that that's not even the right design. That's just some shit that he didn't got off of Tumi, a sheen. And put it here. Lord, have, look. Oh, what is that? What is that? With the with, you know. Uh, I been on, bitch. You been con. Uh, and it, and it, and it, and it, uh, this motherfucker look like Charlie Lee with this shit on. Spinny bird, kick, kick, kick with them long ass feet. <laughs> I love me from Connecticut, baby. So I'm gonna cut up on. And put him in here before I go outside. Which end you tell? <laughs> Baby, I'm trying to hold it down. Uh, Look at I'm him. Ooh, just like a nigga. Don't even know how to cut open a package without finna stab his eyes up. Okay. Look at him. I ain't even wash his uh, hand, y'all. He ain't even wash his hand. Scratch. We know he been digging in his bucket, digging in his bussy. Ain't even scratch. Grab the sausage. Uh, yeah. Listen to me. I ain't know what you nasty. My mama would have beat your goddamn ass with a broom going in the refrigerator without washing your hand. Yeah, well, let me cut up some of these socks and put it here. Mm. I love me from Connecticut Sausage, baby. Spanking so booty, up, African um, booty scratcher is what he looked like. Put him in here before I go outside. Mm, 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 mm. Which end you tear? Baby, I'm tearing the whole thing. I'm cooking all of them. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And watch the sausage hit the ground, y'all. This I was like, I got it. Oh, look at the faha hanging out. Don't be going. Then when Tia Kemp roasted him, he stood up and said, "Oh yeah, I got some." You wasn't even there. You was. We gonna go back to that video in a little bit, okay? Matter of fact, we finna go back there as soon as after this. How he didn't had us fooled and sitting there in his kitchen had us believing that there was some, some actual bookie, bootie cat. 
When it ain't nothing but a faha in a pamper. Oh, hey, y'all, let me get myself together. A booty pad that, that nigga got on. Let me get myself together real quick, and I'll come back on here when we get outside, okay? See y'all. Nah, I'm going to keep y'all on here. You don't see that? Watch this. Where is it? Wait, that shit hit the ground. Look at the boot. <laughs> okay, y'all, let me get myself together, and I'll be back on here in a little bit. Let me get myself together real quick, and I'll come back on here when we get outside, okay? See y'all. Now, I'm going to keep y'all on here. Now, watch this. Life and stuff. Mm. Oh. Mm. Didn't even watch it. Watch some of Lily Furrow. He might as well go ahead and let his do what the white people do. Let your cat and dog eat out the same spoon you do. I think I'm gonna get off here for a minute. With your nasty self. Try to get this stuff together. With your nasty self. Till Kemp. Miss Netta. Clean, you try to be a, a, try to be a fucking whore. And I'm going to call Gillette. I'm calling Gillette to raise the people to get the money. When you call the bitch, you bet you, you call somebody to do your I'm calling Mr. Magic Potter. You fucked up face, noodle, booty, pussy face, bitch. Let me tell your ugly cantaloupe face ass. Yeah, you ugly ass bitch. Your shit look like a motherfucking orange when you pick up. shit. You better stop burning your motherfucking face up, bitch. That neck is on fire. You charcoal match like looking ass brisket back bitch. Let me tell your bad body ass some botch BB <laughs> shape motherfucker. You you look like you got on a wet suit, bitch. That you scuba dive being you ugly smeared face, white walls, black chocolate, Pirelli tire skin looking motherfucker. You damn ain't the bitch to play with. You wanna you be are me. the bitch with you your dick me, don't you bitch. You wanna be me? Don't you me. No. Ass. Charles, don't you run? You <laughs> Crab boy face is crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, he bragging about his numbers. Damn. Damn. That no, that's fake. Yes, indeed. We just find out that that's fake. That's absolutely fake, sir. You ain't even a boy or girl. You a squirrel. Oh, hey, you a squirrel. You, 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 you ain't even a human or a woman. Bitch. You a crackhead. Turn around, you look ugly, 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 ugly,
That hurt him when he said that family was proud of him. Crap, you the broke ass, look at the broke ass, 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 Paige got clipped permanently, not Jonetta. And Jonetta started that. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed talking about Till Kelp. He'll he'll do that. Whenever them numbers get low, he'll go live and pick and poke at somebody. But one thing he haven't done, he haven't done it to no YouTuber. So I'd be interested to see that. He don't even go live on YouTube. He don't like us. We too crucial for him over here.